Bricks, it's Brickley here, and welcome to episode four of the behind the scenes of building Mordor in Lego. And in the previous episode, I show you a little bit of a time lapse of the landscaping behind the Black Gate again, because it wasn't finished yet, but right now it finally is. And we got one final thing to do for my Black Gate mock before I'm finally gonna be able to throw the finale on YouTube, which is actually setting up all of the minifigures. I wanna have a huge orc army marching from out of Mordor, sort of surrounding the entire army of Gondor and Rohan, so that is definitely gonna be an amazing scene within my mock. I got many orcs and urukai standing on these four gray base plates. And if you haven't checked out the previous episode of the behind the scenes where I showed you all of these minifigures in detail, I really suggest you go ahead and watch that video. But right now in this episode, we're finally gonna go and set up all of the minifigures. So I'm gonna go and show you what I have in mind for the Black Gate mock, because the Black Gate of Mordor really deserves a lot more detail regarding minifigures. So that is what we're gonna go and do within this episode of the behind the scenes. So what I want to set up within my Black Gate mock is actually not only the scene where all of the minifigures are gonna fight with each other, but I also want to recreate all of the scenes from the Black Gate within the movie. So the first scene I wanna recreate within my mock is actually where the Mouth of Sauron comes riding on his black horse out of the black gate and he's gonna talk to Aragorn and Gandalf of course with all of the other minifigures right there on horses so that is definitely something really cool I have in mind of course after that I'm gonna recreate the scene where Aragorn is gonna give his speech to the men of the west that is definitely also something quite amazing which I want to recreate with all of the Gondor and Rohan minifigures and of course I want the huge orc army to march out of the Black Gate at the same moment as well, which is truly going to look epic. On top of that, I finally want to recreate the scene where all of the armies are going to fight each other, and that is actually what you're going to see within the finale of Mordor. So I can't wait to recreate all of these scenes, but right now we're going to go and start with setting up the armies of Gondor and Rohan, and of course the horses right over there, so I can recreate the scene where this mouth of Sauron is actually going to talk to the Fellowship. So let's go ahead and set up the minifigures. So I just set up all of my Gondor and Rohan minifigures. The entire army is looking amazing so far. I got all of the characters mixed up right there. So that's definitely an amazing army with those banners as well. And in front of the army, of course, we got Aragorn, Legolas and Gimli, Pippin and Gandalf, Eomir and Merry, and then, of course, the remaining Gondor soldier right over there with the banner of Gondor. So definitely an amazing minifigure selection in front of the Black Gate. So right now, actually, I'm going to go and take a couple of pictures of this scene. Of course, also set up the entire orc army behind the Black Gate so I can recreate the scene where the orcs are going to march out of the Black Gate and encircle all of the forces of the men of the West. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take some pictures and of course set up the entire orc army. So I just finished setting up all of the minifigures and the end result looks so astonishing. I got hundreds of of orcs trying to surround the armies of Rohan and Gondor. And I am just so happy with the fact that I managed to set up all of these minifigures in such a short time period. I tried to vary the movements of the minifigures as much as I possibly could with, of course, the arms moving back and forth to sort of simulate the fact that the minifigures are actually walking to make it look like a real life mock right here. But I'm quite happy with the fact that all of the minifigures have been posed up. Of course, I have a couple of minifigures laying on my shelf as well because I actually had to remove those for the trailer of my finale of Building Mordor and Lego. And in addition to those figures, I also have a couple figs 
laying underneath the table on this gray base plate right here. So I also need to finish setting up a couple of Urukai and Orcs and of course add them to a couple of empty spaces within my mock. I mean, you can clearly see that the bulk of the minifigures are actually in the middle of the mock right there. So the bulk is in the middle right over there. We got, of course, a little bit of a big group over here with orcs just marching out of the black gate sort of wanted to create a couple of separate groups right there thought that would look quite cool with of course separate groups coming together into a bigger army so we got a lot of groups we got a a big column of orcs just marching out of the lands of minas morgul right here actually I believe from Kidith Ungol right there with, of course, Frodo and Sam. So we get this epic marching column right there. Of course, Frodo and Sam fleeing the scene right here. Of course, that's a teaser to my future Barad Durant Mount Doom mock right there. So can't wait to start building that. But of course, we get the orcs sort of marching into a bigger column right here. So we got all separate groups marching towards the Black Gate, merging into a bigger group. So this group right here is a bit bigger, as you can see, in comparison to all of these smaller groups right there. And of course, the big groups actually sort of merge into this huge army which is actually marching out of the Black Gate. And that is the effect I wanted to create. I thought it would look quite cool. I mean, you could see a lot of orcs just merge into win actually one big mess within the movie, but I wanted to add a little bit of a systematic look to it. So that is why I decided to remove a couple of orcs right over here in between. There was a big line right there with orcs, but I eventually decided to remove those because I thought it would look cool with, of course, that flag right there simulating that's another group of, of course, the orc army. So I thought that will look, actually would look quite cool right here. But it took around, let's say, five hours to set up all of these minifigures right here. And that's not even counting the Rohan and Gondor minifigures in the middle. So it took quite a lot of time, but I mean, I had fun. I watched Star Wars Clone Wars and, of course, listened to some music while doing this. But I definitely think it's quite fun to set up this many minifigures. I mean, this is around 400 minifigures right here, 460 orcs even. So that's definitely something great right here. Happy with the fact that I managed to set up so many minifigures. Of course, I got the custom orc banners all throughout the army. So that is also quite nice. Really happy with that as well. And I also set up the trolls right there. We got, of course, the troll in the back who is going to attack Aragorn. And that troll is actually going to be really important to the next scene, which I'm going to set up with this mock. But I'm actually going to show you that in a second because I got to film the first part of the finale for Building Mortar in Lego. And that's actually before I changed the entire setting. So I'm actually going to show the black gate, of course, show all of the mini figures right here in this position. I think it's quite fun to jump into a sort of different shot where you can see all of the mini figures battling. So usually with Lego mocks, you only see one sort of setup with mini figures attacking or fighting. But I want the pre-battle to of course, premiere within my Blackgate mock finale as well. And that is why I'm going to keep this shot within the finale with, of course, all of the orcs marching out of the Black Gate of Mordor. Really happy with the way this looks right here. Definitely like the fact that all of the orcs are surrounding the army. And one of the main reasons why I actually want to set up this scene is because you can see a lot of orcs marching out of the Black Gate over there in the back. And of course, we can set up the, the armies in a sort of diverse way right over there in the back. So definitely happy with that. I mean, I think it looks quite good to set up the scene where or Aragorn actually is going to say for Frodo right there. And I love the fact that I can set up that scene with so many orcs surrounding this entire pack of the men of the West right over there in the middle. So I'm really happy that this is possible. I mean, I never expected that I would set up this big of a mock finale right here. 
But I've done it. I'm not done yet because I actually need to set up a couple of minifigures. And before I'm going to start filming the finale, I mean, I got torches right over here for my orc army. Even got a lot of stuff laying around. And before I start filming, I also want to do some other stuff for my Blackgate mock, which you're actually going to see in another episode of Behind the Scenes. But I can't wait to show you but right now, actually, I'm going to go and jump to me, of course, setting up the orcs. So what I actually want to do after filming, of course, the finale is just set up all of these orcs surrounding the army of Rohan and Gondor. So all of these orcs are going to attack the armies right here. And of course, I want to have a lot of these pikemen in front who are actually going to sort of surround the army right there. And you could actually also see a lot of pikemen in front where Aragorn was attacking the army of the Black Gate, the army of Mordor, of course. So that is definitely a great scene, which I want to recreate where you could actually sort of see Aragorn run in and spin sort of like that. So I think that's definitely a great scene to recreate within my mock right there. Of course, I also want to have a lot of the minifigures battling. For instance, I want Gimli and Legolas to sort of have a little bit of game playing where they're actually going to kill as many orcs as possible. So I also want to set up a funny scene with that. And of course, add a lot of Easter eggs throughout the battle. Might even add a couple of random minifigures so you can actually guess which figures those are in the comment section of the finale of building Mordor in Lego. But yeah, I want to have a lot of figures just battling with each other. I mean, I'm going to have all of the orcs fighting with the Rohan and Gondor soldiers. Of course, I already have my archers with, of course, my orc army on top of the walls of the Black Gate, standing ready to fire their arrows at the men of the West right there. So I'm definitely... I definitely think that looks quite great. I mean, they're sort of at the ready and when all of the orc commanders are going to yell that they need to fire, they're going to fire their arrows at Rohan and Gondor in the middle. So that's actually something I can leave unchanged. I might even th just throw one orc off to sort of have a little bit of a battle scene where, uh, of course, a Gondor soldier or a Rohan soldier shoots down an orc on the Black Gate wall where he sort of actually falls off right here. I might even set that up. I think that would look quite cool. But for now, actually, I'm going to go and prepare for the finale of building Mordor in Lego. And I also need to do some other behind the scenes stuff, which you're actually going to go and see in another episode, as I said before. But yeah, right now I'm actually going to go and jump to the second scene of my Black Gate mock. So today was actually quite a busy day for building Mordor in Lego. And this is just amazing, everyone. I finished setting up the battle including all of the orcs fighting the armies of Gondor and Rohan. Of course, I got a lot of minifigures just fighting with each other. For example, over here in this area, we got a lot of the Rohan minifigures just battling with the Urukai and orcs. So definitely an amazing display right here. And I also have a lot of casualties laying around regarding the orcs but also some rohan soldiers as well because i really wanted this to look as realistic as possible so a lot of minifigures are actually laying around We've got also a ton of figures still marching towards the battle as you can see i kept most of my orcs still in the same group right over there so those groups are actually all the same I actually only changed the position of the minifigures surrounding the army of Gondor and Rohan. So that is something nice to note right here. Of course, I got a couple of orcs standing over here just marching towards the battle. As you can see, there's a lot of fighting going on. Of course, over here, this is something quite nice. actually saw this within the Lord of the Rings, the Two Towers, I believe. You could see an uruk laying dead. But he had his helmet in a sort of way where it was actually sort of removed from his head right there. So it actually fell off. And I thought that would be quite nice to recreate within my mock. So that's why the helmet is sort of loose laying next to his head right there. So I think that looks quite nice. I mean, 
you can clearly see that the helmet is loose and not some part which is really solid. So that's definitely an amazing detail right there, if I say so myself. And then, of course, taking a look at the entire battle, we can see a lot of orcs storming into the front lines of the armies of the men of the West. We get a couple of minifigures battling right here. Also included a lot of those Rohan shields as well. Definitely looks amazing within this display. Of course, over here, there's really an epic battle going on. We got a lot of orcs just running in to the front lines. So that's definitely something amazing. Also have a couple of Rohan minifigures with some spears right here. Of course, we get the banner of Minas Tirith right here. Actually, the banner of Gondor, excuse me. And then, of course, we get all of the orcs just fighting. Another Urukai laying red right over there. Get some casualties for Mordor. And then over here in the middle section, actually, there's a sort of breach in the front lines, actually. We got a couple of orcs running through the front lines. Of course, we get Gandalf fighting with both his staff and sword. That's definitely something cool. And a Gondor soldier right here actually laying dead. And of course, we get Aragorn fighting the Oleg High right there. So that's definitely an amazing scene I wanted to set up within my mock right here. And of course, I also set up Legolas. Now, I actually have two Legolas minifigures within my mock, as you already know. So that's definitely something amazing right there. But yeah, I set up the entire battle, quite happy with that. But something interesting about today, actually, is the skies of my Black Gate mock. You can see that I actually added six of my Lego The Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit Eagles. Those are 100% Lego. And then, of course, we get the epic Fell Beasts made by Lego Raven. Now, this just looks astonishing. I, I think it really is just a legendary setup right here. We got the Fell Beasts attacking the Eagles right there, or actually the other way around, but it looks like the Fell Beasts, beasts are starting to win right here because you can actually see... This eagle is actually being attacked by the fell beast in the middle. Of course, I also have the ring wraiths on top of the fell beasts. So that's definitely something really cool right there. I try to make the capes sort of move up. So they're actually a bit windy right there. I, I believe that's quite nice that the capes are actually just wobbling around right there. And of course, the fell beasts in the back are also positioned nicely. I try to actually set up the wings in different positions. So that definitely also really worked out. I mean, it was quite hard to set up these fell beasts right here. I had to actually place them on two of these strings right here. And then we get another string in the back supporting the tail of the fell beast. Let me show you up close what I mean by that. Of course, we get the two strings right here. These are actually from fishing rods right here. So really just sturdy string. So it won't break or anything, unless, of course, you decide to cut it with a scissor. But, I mean, it definitely works. The wings are really smoothly attached to the string right here. Definitely looks amazing. Of course, we get the tail right over here in the back. Oh, I just love it. I mean, I love the way the tail sort of bends with the spikes. Definitely think that looks great. And, of course, we get the utter fell beast over here in the back. You can take a better look at the head over there as well. I just love these custom fell beasts, and I noticed that a lot of you actually don't like custom printed fell beasts. Well, I myself am a really big fan of them, and I mean, if you're really a Lord of the Rings fan, you're going to appreciate these fell beasts right here. So, I really love them, and I think that all of you should definitely give these a try within your own LEGO The Lord of the Rings collection. Because I myself am just really a huge fan of them and I can't say anything bad about them. There are only positive things about these epic fell beasts right here. Now I actually only have three as of this moment. But I do plan on collecting more of the fell beasts for of course my Mordor mock in the back right there. So that's definitely also something really cool. And of course we get the eagles. Now I'm actually going to show you the eagles as well. So I actually try to... Pose up the eagles with a lot of different motions. So we got a couple of eagles sort of spanning their wings right there, as you can see. So they're really flying around. And of course, that eagle is being attacked 
by the Fell Beast right there. So definitely an amazing setup within disguise. And of course the minifigures are also just looking sick right here. And I actually had the older guy who's actually right now attacking Aragorn standing right over there within the army as you could see. But I replaced him with a warg. I thought that would actually be quite a nice replacement for the mock. So everything is in place for my Blackgate mock finale. And right now, actually, I'm going to go and close off this behind the scenes footage video for my building Mordor in Lego series. So if you did enjoy watching this video, of course, let me know by leaving a thumbs up to support it. Go subscribe to Brickly for more content. And of course, ring that notification bell to stay updated when I post any videos. And I will see you all in the next video.